our our campaign initially was only to do with the Veolia uh, uh, illegal uh, uh, services to the Israeli illegal settlements. We actually heard about this uh, um, just over two years ago, in uh, the end of 2010, and uh, we we didn't get involved straight away. We were hoping that other people would get involved because we were more working on uh, on campaigning and, and, and friendship with Gaza. That is, that is our main involvement. And we were hoping that groups that are more interested in, in working with uh, Palestinians in the West Bank would take this uh, campaign. Um, and I've taken all along a technical approach as well as a, as well as a political approach, but a technical approach to uh, the issue of the earlier. Um, We've had very, very limited information from the North London Waste Authority. Um, it's, it's basically from their website, which is reproduced through the, the technical journals. Uh, but I was able, with my experience, to, to see where the problems were, to see that the only were basically, their aim was to trash and burn, incinerate and generate electricity. That meant that um, the, 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 the rubbish from North London, the, there was, a, there was a, 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 an impetus, a requirement to burn that rubbish and that put less of a requirement to, on recycling the rubbish. And you know, the, these, these were lot, there were lots and lots of technical issues coming out. The, 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 most, the most serious one, from my point of view, was the fact that uh, this new contract, this 4.7 billion contract, would be tripling the cost of the waste for North London. So instead of the total waste costs in North London being something like 60, 60 million pounds, they were going to end up at 260 million pounds a year, they were going to end up at 200 million pounds a year. And that fact, I think, was, was instrumental in, in calling to the attention of the, the councillors and the North London Waste Authority that there was something going on. That, that people, workers who work for Veolia or anybody, we also obviously had support from trade unions, um, that, that it, it became really across the, the, the community that, that people re, now, now identify Veolia with a company which is unethical, a company which is not just complicit with the Israeli war crime, but is also a company which has not, no respect to the community. The, the fight was at, at every level. And they, they even managed for, for quite a long time, the NLW managed to, to control the media and, and intimidate the media not to cover the story. First of all, hopefully they will uh, withdrew, withdraw from, from the services to the illegal settlement. And um, the, it, it will be an example to all companies that are complicit with the Israeli war crimes and profiteering, profiting from the, 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 is, the illegal Israeli activities, including the illegal settlements, that, that they will realize that if, if, if that's the route you take, you pay the price, and, and uh, if the, you, then the only uh, price that these sort of companies understand is financial.